Hello mathematicians, today we are going to talk about the distributive property. And the distributive property is when you have multiplication outside of a set of parentheses that has addition or subtraction on the inside. <clears throat> so we distribute that multiplication throughout the whole thing. So I'm going to expand it out. You do not have to expand it out. I just want you to see what we're doing. So we're going to take 4 times 1 plus 4 times 7p. And then we multiply and simplify. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 4 times 7 would be 28p. And 4 and 28 are not like terms, so that's as far as we can go. All right, number two. Again, I would pause this video, write these problems down, try to do them before I get there. Okay, so we're taking negative 10 times 1 and negative 10 times 2m. Don't forget the negative in front of the 10. Don't forget the m. Negative 10 times 1 would be negative 10, and negative 10 times 2m would be negative 20m. And 10 and 20m are not like terms, so we cannot combine them together through addition or subtraction. So that is our final answer. Numbers aren't the only thing you can distribute. You can also distribute variables because variables are symbols that represent numbers. So we can treat the variables just as we treat numbers. So we're going to take 4n and distribute it. And there's a minus sign, 4n times 5. So 4n times n would be 4n squared minus 4n times 5 would be 20n. So from yesterday's lesson, when you multiplied variables together, you added those exponents. And if there's no exponent written, we know it's an exponent of 1. So 1 plus 1 would be 2. And notice that there's two n's. n squared and n are not like terms, so we cannot combine them together through addition or subtraction. So that is our final answer. Number four, negative n is what we are distributing through. So we have negative n times n. There's a subtraction sign, negative n times six. And notice I did not lose a negative or subtraction sign. The subtraction sign is in it. Negative n times n would be negative n squared. Negative n times 6 would be a negative 6n. You can leave your answer like that, or remember, negatives are addition of the opposite, so that would be plus the opposite of negative 6n, which would be 6n. n squared and n are not like terms, so we cannot combine them together through addition or subtraction. I'm going to try to get through all, oh wow, I'm going to try to get through all of the examples in the video today so you don't have to watch multiple videos. Number five, we're going to distribute that negative five over the parentheses. So negative five times r plus negative five times six. And notice that this minus 5r is outside of the parentheses. We are not multiplying anything by that 5r. All right, so multiply and simplify. Negative 5 times r would be negative 5r plus negative 5 times 6 would be negative 30 minus 5r. 
r and r are like terms, so we can combine those together. So we have negative 5r plus a negative 5r, which would be negative 10r plus negative 30. And r and 30 are not like terms, so we cannot combine them together through addition or subtraction. Number six, we're going to multiply this nine through the parentheses. So nine times one minus nine times six k. And notice again that this negative 10k is outside of the parentheses, so it's not being multiplied to anything. So now we multiply and simplify. Nine times one is nine minus nine times six k would be 54k minus 10k. Well, 54k and 10k are like terms. They both have a k, so we can combine them. So negative 54k plus negative 10k would be negative 64k. And we can't combine 64k and 9 together, so that would be our final answer. Number seven, we're going to multiply, we're going to distribute that negative 6x through the parentheses. And again, notice that this plus 2x is outside of the original parentheses, so it's just plus 2x in our next step. Multiply and simplify. Negative 6x times 8 would be negative 48x. Negative 6x times 6x would be negative 36x plus 2x. Oh, sorry, x squared, because it's x times x. Negative 48x and 2x are like terms, so we can combine them. So negative 48x plus 2x would be negative 46x plus negative 36x squared. And x and x squared are different terms, so we cannot combine them together through addition or subtraction. All right, last one for this video. 4r is being multiplied to the parentheses. So we're going to distribute that through, but 5r squared is just hanging out. 4r times negative 7r plus 4r times 9. Multiply and simplify. So 5r squared plus 4r times negative 7r would be negative 28r squared. 4r plus 9 would be 36r. 5r squared and negative 28r squared are like terms, so we can combine them together. So negative 28r squared plus 5r squared would be negative 23r squared plus 36r. And r squared and r are different terms, so we cannot combine those together. All right. I'm going to do a, another set of these problems in the next video. So if you need to see more, I would encourage you to watch the second video or look up those additional resources. Thank you for watching. Uh, drop a smiley face in the chat, and happy mathing.